Hey y'all, what is happening? It is Jimmy G in the place to be, bringing you back to another wonderful episode of The Good, the clickety clack of my dog, and the awesome, where we talk about all things pop culture, a lot of my first reactions, great deals that I find, unboxings, and unbiased, unabashed, unapologetic reviews. And so if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that like subscribe button so that way you can get notified of all the goodness. And if you've been here before, thank you so much. Currently sitting at 536 subscribers, so we're continuing to grow. And that's all because of y'all because you're liking the stuff or you're telling your enemies to watch this stuff. It doesn't matter, we're growing. And so we still do have our 500 giveaway that is going on as well as we do have our August giveaway that's still going on just for a few more days for the August one, but the 500 is still going on. So make sure you uh, sign up for those if you wanna get some free stuff. I'll put the links down in the description below. But today I got something awesome. I went uh, yesterday on a little bit of a toy hunt, forgot all my camera equipment and stuff like that. My phone was about to die, so I couldn't film any of it. But I went to a place called McKay's Used Books, CDs, and more. And if you don't know what that is, it is the mecca of things that is pop culture, uh, books, music, CDs, collectibles, games, stuff like that you can find used. And I went in there and I found two things that I really wanted. And we're gonna review one of those today. And it's used, it's not brand new, so I hope all the parts are there. Uh, but we'll take a look at it and I'll show you what it is. And uh, for those of y'all that uh, have never been to McKay's before, there's one in Knoxville, there's one in Nashville, and then there's one in Chattanooga. If you're ever in those areas, I would encourage you to stop in there because you could find some really cool deals. I had a buddy of mine who found a Ultimate Fallout number four, first appearance of Miles Morales, picked it up for like a dollar uh, there, uh, as, as well as some other ones there. So there's comic books you can dig through. If you're willing to dig through them, you can find those. But you can find some really, really good deals, but you just gotta look out for them. And so I went in there, as I always do, at least once, once a week, uh, just to see what kind of stuff they have. And I found something really cool that I really wanted. I didn't have the money for it. So I had to trade in a bunch of stuff to get the money for it, but I got it. So let's take a look at what this thing that Jimmy G had to have. Let's do it. And here are the two things that I could not leave McKay's without getting. First of all, the Voltron Vehicle Force set here. It's used, it's by Miracle Metalworks MA-01. We got this. I'm not reviewing this one today. The one we are gonna review is this one right here. Uh, this one will be reviewed at a later time, but we're gonna review the Voltron 30th Anniversary Collector Set. I always wanted a good Voltron figure, and but they're so expensive. Like this one, this one right here, like I've been looking on eBay and stuff like that. It's anywhere from like 400 to, to 500 to $600. So lots and lots of expensive. So I saw this at McKay's for a lot less, but still more money than I had, but a lot significantly less than what 600 bucks is. I mean, I'm talking like 250. Uh, and I had to trade in a lot of Funko Pop figures uh, to get this figure, but I wanted to have it. I asked him if I could look at it. I, I looked at the top box and to see if everything, if all the lines were in there and the lines were in there, but I don't know if everything is in here. So I'm hoping everything is in here. So when we open it up and have fun with it, that we can, but this is awesome. <laughs> and if you don't know much about Voltron, I don't know what to tell you. So Voltron, uh, a lot of y'all who grew up in the Power Rangers age and stuff like that uh, owe a lot to Voltron. Uh, now, Voltron owes a lot to other uh, Japanese manga and anime and, and toys, too, as well. But if you're used to the Megazords and the, the, the Lionzords and the dinosaur, Dinosaurs, I don't know, uh, you owe a lot to to Voltron uh, and basically Voltron were these five ro five lions that can combine into a robot and they all had a pilot that, that would pilot it and they defended this kingdom from some bad guys and bad dudes. And I remember every episode, there was this coffin thing that would just shoot down and, uh, and Voltron would try to destroy it in the lion mode, but nope, they had to form the robot and they were able to beat that, uh, that bad guy. But these, uh, I want to say what the land is. I don't remember the name of the land. I wanted to say Equestria, but that's the ponies. Uh, but uh, but uh, Netflix redid uh, Voltron, uh, and it is 
they did a really, really good job. I thought Netflix did a phenomenal job on that cartoon. If you haven't watched it, I would encourage you to do that. But Voltron consists of, uh, there's actually three different versions of Voltron. So there's the Lions, which most people know about. And there's the Voltron Vehicle Force uh, on this. And so that, that, that's one that we had, which is really, really cool. Then there's the Lions. But then there's a third version of Voltron that I can't find any toys for. I'm sure they're out there. But that were three robots that combined into one big robot. And so they were ultimately all about defending the universe pretty much but this is the 30th anniversary collection set very very cool very awesome i can't wait to get out of the box but look at this packaging it is very cool i love that artwork and here it is out of the packaging and on to my table now it's not outside of all the packaging because part of this will just be a cool unboxing because i saw this when i took it out i was like styrofoam I love styrofoam. Styrofoam is that thing that makes the world go round with coolers and all sorts of cool stuff. But I remember back in the 80s, everything was packed in styrofoam and I missed that. I, you know, the now with Hasbro's, you know, uh, eco-friendly packaging, there's no more styrofoam. There's not even more any plastic. I miss the styrofoam. Please bring it back. But here, uh, when you open it up, this is what you see first is this part right here, which is cool. Uh, and let me see if I can pull it up just to show you kind of look at that. That's cool. I can already tell one error. Whoever repacked this, uh, that's not the red lion. That's the green lion. And that's the red lion. So someone did not put the lions in the right place. So you got the lions, uh, the main kind of shield weapon here, and then the weapon right there, uh, which is cool. Uh, and then on the bottom, Oh man, I can already tell there is something missing. And it's an important piece. Oh my gosh. Let me move this out of the way and we can show you kind of what's in the bottom area. This stinks already. Will I return it? Ooh, uh, you got the instructions, which is cool, but what's missing? We got stuff missing. We got the, the base. The base is gone. I got stuff to make the base, but I have no base. Where's my base? I need that base to make him stand. Bring on the base. Uh, but I don't have it. I, I am severely depressed. That's it. I'm depressed. What can cheer me back up? Let's bring the lions back. Let's do that. No, no base. That stinks. That stinks a lot. Maybe that's why it was such a good deal because it was missing parts, but it's not missing the key parts, which is the lion. So let's go ahead and let's take each individual lion out and then we'll go through some, uh, get them standing and articulation stuff. So let's start with lion number one. What is your name, lion number one? This is Patrick. Patrick is the black lion and he likes long walks on the beach. He's already set up to be Voltron, but we'll get him in lion mode and stuff like that. But that's line number one. And so we'll get that there. And then we got, let's do line number two is the red one. That is cool. It is made out of metal, which is awesome. Very good. Let's get line number three out. The green one Ah, oh, feels so good. Line number four, the blue lion. Got them going. Lion number five, the yellow lion. And then, of course, you got the weapon, the kind of the star, and then the, the star weapon right there is the sword. So let's do this. Let me get it all out of the package, and then we'll get the lions in their lion mode and kind of compare some articulation, and then we'll get them in their Voltron mode. So let's do it now. All right, we got them in lion mode. Here they are. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Here they are. They are here to fight King Zarkon off of the planet Doom. And so for those of y'all that don't know who piloted each lion, you have Keith who piloted the black line. He was the commander. You have Lance who piloted the, the, the actually Lance piloted the red lion right here. 
And then you have Pidge. Pidge hi piloted the Green Lion. And then Princess Allura. She basically, uh, uh, she piloted uh, and took over, basically piloting the Blue Lion. Now Sven was the original, but he got originally killed in combat. And then Hunk piloted the yellow lion so uh some of y'all like how do you remember that well it's right here in the, in the the package it tells you the history of voltron and all that kind of stuff and you can see the different people which is really really cool this is a really this booklet right here that you get it's it's a pretty cool little instruction manual because it has history of voltron and things like that but some of the things before we get into the lions let me show you what you else you get besides the stand you don't get a stand you get this beautiful, let me turn on some light here and get some illumination. You get this beautiful sword, Voltron's sword. Look at that beautiful chrome looking thing. It is a plastic. Uh, it is awesome. Then you get uh, each lion's weapon, uh, which is cool. Uh, so let me kind of share with you. Let me see if I can find a little thing that tells me which lion has what. Uh, but you also get uh, the shield here. That is awesome. That secures to the lion. So you get the shield on that. Uh, and then you get all the other weapons that belong to the other lions. Uh, you get this one right here. This is the blue lion's weapon. Uh, this one right here is the black lion's weapon. So you get that one right there. And then you get this guy right here. Um, I don't know which lion. Yellow lion. This is the yellow lion's weapon. And then you have this one right here, which is the green lion's weapon. And then this one right here, which is the red lion's weapon. So you get all those weapons to go along with it, along with the blazing sword and the shield. Um, but no base. The base would have been cool because the base is where you can store those weapons uh, for Voltron. But no base. I'll show you. I'll insert a picture of the base here. But let's take a look at the lion. So let's take a look at, first of all, Let's take a look at Keith's lion, uh, which is the black lion. So here he is. And like I said, uh, and let me pull, let me get the camera pointed up a little bit more. And so there it is. So there it is from the front. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You have articulation in the head, which is really, really cool. You can go almost 360. Yeah, you can actually go 360 with it, uh, which is awesome. And the tilt and all that good stuff it's a little bit loose you can tell this is this toy has been played with a little bit for display but not bad um the uh, the the shoulder you got 360 as well for the front legs and then these do move up and this these feet move as well um this kind of goes in and out a little bit here so that way you can kind of uh angle it if you want to the back legs yep you got that and you have it's on a ratchet which is really cool and you got those right there that's pretty cool the waist does have a little bit of turn here that's of course for when he's in voltron lion mode the legs do angle again for when he's in uh voltron robot mode uh on that but yeah that's a little bit about the black lion you got his tail tail goes up and down so if he's happy Oh, who's a good lion? You're such a good lion. Uh, but uh, there it is. And look at that face. That face looks so mean, so cool. And you have the jaw that does move right there. So you can kind of see that. You can kind of see that Voltron's head is hiding right there. But yeah, you have the jaw that does move. And what's cool is you can take his weapon, which is this one, and kind of put it in his mouth like so. Cause that's how they held him right there that's too cool that's too cool that's awesome now when i was a kid i had the matchbox voltron which was all die cast and that was phenomenal i played with that thing until it was loose but yeah you got metal the body is made out of metal the legs are plastic here uh but yeah there there he is there's that undercarriage of the lion there's kind of a side profile of the lion there we go. It's like the Westminster Lion Club here. There's the side. Let's lift his tail a little bit. Head up. There we are. Um, and then we have the lion butt, the lion side, and back to the front. And so that's a little bit of the black lion. So we'll put him back. And let's go with lion number two. Lion number two, come forth. 
Anyone remember who is the pilot of the Red Lion? I will wait. The Red Lion, Lance. Lance. Sir Lancelot. And there he is. Lots smaller. He is Red Lion, makes up one of the arms of Voltron. And of course, you do have the arm. Uh, that, that mouth goes, ah, rah, rah. And so you got that one right there that does that. The head, you can turn. You don't really have any upward downward movement in it i think that's the nature of it being his arm uh on that but i love the fact you could take the red lion's weapon let's put it in his mouth there you go very cool uh legs same as the black lion you got the same kind of articulation uh with those legs and it does have a little movement here it's a little wobbly a little weebly wobbly uh, but yeah, you have that same movement and then the arm that uh, you got the, the twist there. And uh, if you want the line to sit, sit boy, sit <laughs> good boy. You can do that right there because of the nature of that arm. Uh, and then the tail, which is cool cause it slides right in like that and then it slides back out. Uh, but there he is. There's the, the, the front of him. There's the top of him. There's the side, the butt. The side and the bottom i didn't show you the the top of black lion that's the top of black lion right there now if you want to do some cool stuff with the black lion you can actually have his wings out if you want to too as well and i'll show you that here in a little bit green lion is about the same as the red lion from an articulation so we won't go into that that much but uh let's take a look at green lion with his uh with his weapon he's got a weapon i don't know if y'all remember the robot chicken skit they did with uh voltron uh <laughs> where it was a dance off, which was awesome. Uh, but yeah, there it is. This is so cool. So cool. That is so friggin' awesome. Uh, so you got a little bit of swiveling. I wish it would do like the matchbox one. You push that and the head would pop off, which was really cool. Uh, but body is made of metal. This one can sit too as well if you want to, but yep, yeah, front, there's that face, beautiful face. There's the side, the butt, that side, the top, the number three, and then the bottom. So, yep, good old number three. There you go. Have a seat. And then let's go with number four, Blue Lion. Blue Lion, Princess Allura, or Sven before that, but Princess Allura. Uh, one of the cool things I like about the Blue Lion is look at the top of that head. That is pretty cool. That's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, but look at that, that noggin. I mean, really nice detail, attention to detail to the face. Uh, when you look at the paint and stuff like that on all of them, they did a really, really good job uh, on that. Uh, the mouth does open. And then of course the blue lion, his weapon is, I think it's this one right here, if I remember. And he will hold that in his mouth too as well. So very, very cool. Uh, from an articulation, the legs do the same thing. Like I said, as the others, it will 360 if you want it to. Um, back legs are on a ratchet, which is really awesome. Uh, so you can ratchet that up if you want to. It's a, a very tight ratchet too. Uh, you don't have any twist, uh, but you do have, uh, I believe for the f for the foot yeah this the head can move all the way up so when you transform them that's kind of what it will look like there um, but yeah that's a little about the blue lion there he is from the front he's so beautiful from the side Rawr. then from the back there he is from this side from the top and again just just a gorgeous amount of level of detail on this i I am digging this, this guy, the 30th anniversary. Now there's many different versions and there's other versions that are more detailed than this. Um, but this one, this one's pretty cool. The 30th and 30th anniversary one. And we're down to the yellow, uh, lion and that yellow lion who was piloted by hunk and his weapon, of course, last but not least is the, which one is it? I think it's this one yeah yeah this one so whoop, put it in his mouth uh, 
and again, whoop, head, you got the kind of that bobbin, bobbin weave. This one's not as loose. This one's kind of loose here. You can see he's a loosey goosey on his head there. Uh, but that's what you got there. You got his mouth that does open and close. And this yellow head does the same thing because it is part of the foot. Again, articulation standpoint, same as the blue lion exact same but i love the little detail he has the, that little like kind of rocket thing right there and then the tail you know scoot in and out like it did before but there he is from the front from the side from the butt from this side from the top and the bottom so yeah so my favorite of all of them of course the black one's really cool uh but they all look really phenomenal uh and they feel good. Now, some of them have a little looseness like this right here. The head's loose here, whereas this head is not as loose, uh, but this one is. Uh, and the legs can be a little wonky. You can kind of see that right there. They're just a little wonky. So you gotta just get them posed just right. Um, but I'll tell you what, let's get them formed into their Voltron mode, which should be a lot easier than transforming something. So uh, let's see if I can figure out how to do this and we'll do this with a little bit of time lapse. How's that sound? Does that sound good? You wanna see that that way? I know normally I would just do it through the magic of video editing, but we'll do a little time lapse. So uh, stay tuned. Let me move all this stuff out of the way and let's get it going. We got them all in there ready for combine mode. So let's just take a quick look at them, what they look like when you uh, put them in kind of that combine mode. So here's the green lion. Uh, very easy. The, the, I mean, the legs just kind of fold in. This part kind of pops out because that's going to be uh, in the joint. Uh, so yeah, you got that. That's pretty straightforward there. Um, the legs, very kind of again, straightforward. Uh, legs just fold in. Boom, legs go in, lion head goes up, and the tail goes in here. And what's cool is this is kind of a catch and release part right here. I don't know if you can see that. Boop, 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 boo. So, and then, um, but the most change is of course the black lion. Here's how he looks. So he's ready to be uh, transformed into Voltron. So let me move the camera up a little bit so we can kind of put them into combined mode. Together, together, together. Forever, my heart, and I will love you forever together. So let's start with the legs. And so we are going to go ahead and stick the blue line in. And you know you got a good connection when you hear that clickety click. Uh, and let's put the yellow line in. Click. Beautiful. Uh, green lion, let's get him on in. So I found it might be a little easier if you have that at an angle because it goes, there's a peg. Kind of right here that you want to get that inside make sure you will feel a good click and then you got you know you're in the right spot red lion second verse same as the first you can see the square you want to get those lined up and there we go and then of course i'm having issues with this wing it likes to come off and we'll put that wing back on boom boom there we are and then last but not least the last part of the line and we're going to do this like the cartoon we're going to bring him in we're going to bring this head down 
bring this out like that, bring that, that down, and then the face. And we've got Voltron, Defender of the Universe. There he is in all of his Voltron glory. So I'm going to do a little handheld camera work to see if we can get this kind of looking good. Give me just a moment uh, and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. I just had to get a little more illumination in here. Illumination! So we're going to do a little handy, handy uh, handheld camera work here. So forgive my handheldedness here. So we're... He's just so big, I gotta do it this way. But there, look at that face. That is so cool. That face is awesome. Now, I mean, when he turned into Voltron and that, that lion head came down and that face came up, it was great. And then that crest right there, the crest of Equestria. <laughs> That's not Equestria, it's, I forgot what the name of the land is. Let me see if it's in this biography here. Uh, but uh, unless y'all can tell me. I mean, you can't tell me. I'm. This isn't live. Uh, so, uh, ba, 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 ba. Uh, Eris's Castle of Lions. Eris. So there we go. Uh, so that is so cool. And then we got. Let's kind of just pan around to the arm just set in there just very nice very nice the red lion i'm in love the blue lion there as the foot we will come over to the yellow lion here too as well and then we'll get into some articulation here in just a moment uh, but there he is Fultra. sultan <laughs> Fultra, defender of the universe let me get my camera back down Whoop, sorry, blip, 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 blip. If you get motion sickness, I am so sorry. So we're going to do a little articulation, kind of see what he kind of articulates to. Uh, let me get a little bit more height onto my camera here. You got to see my setup. It's like really like rednecked, jerry-rigged up. So um, there we go. So let's start with the head. And so the head... You do have the upwards and downward movement here, uh, which is awesome. And then you do have the face does swivel. It does do a 360 if you wanted to, uh, but who wants to do that? Voltron looks forward. Uh, and then the waist, you only get very little right here. So yeah, very little movement there with that. And then the lay, uh, the arms, you can go out like that, but it doesn't like to hold that. Like, watch this, I just tap the table. Boop. Yeah, doesn't like to do that. And then, but you do have a rotation. You can go 360, but you got his wing that gets in the way. Uh, and then if you want the arm to bend 90 degrees, you can kind of see that almost a 90 degree. You kind of have to turn the line a little bit, but Look at that. Just if I could just get it to go one more time and it would just click in this place. But yeah, it just pops down. Uh, and then the wrist, you do have the rotation there. Uh, red line, it's a little bit worse because like, look, it doesn't hold at all. Uh, so you'll just, I'm going to try to furniture polish that up. Maybe see if, if that'll do it, but it doesn't hold at all. You do still have, but notice this does ratchet. I think it's the nature of this being more of a, a, a square, whereas this is round, so it just doesn't quite hold, whereas this, it'll hold into place because it just ratchets uh, on that. So, and then of course the arm, the looseness there, you don't have that quite looseness here as you do on the screen one. Uh, I don't know why, but we'll see. That, that's, that's interesting. And then you do have where you can go all the way around like so and that's the same on the green line too as well okay well, let's move the arms kind of out of the way so we can kind of see the, the the hip again not much movement there but the legs so you can go all the way up like so but 
doesn't like to hold. And then you don't have much of a bend here just because of this right here kind of gets in the way. Um, but that makes it easy to release though. If you push that button, uh, you don't have much of it that way. Now you do have, you can twist the ankle around, uh, and then you do have upwards that way too. You can't go out to the side. Now I wonder if this one will hold better. No, it's just the nature of how heavy those lions are. And so you can though kind of just mess with them and get them into some cool poses if you want to. Uh, so let's just do this. Let's try getting some weapons in him. Well, before we get his weapons in him, uh, let's compare him to a few other bots that we do have. So we're going to move you back to the back here. Mr. Voltron. Kind of stand right there looking all pretty. And uh, let's bring this camera down just a hair. There we go. Uh, but there he is. So let's start with, we got a core class Starscream. So you can kind of see from a size standpoint how big he is. Uh, and then we have a legend scale Magic Square Brawl. So again, just towers over them. Uh, then we got Voyager class Starscream. I need to dust my transformers. They're getting kind of dusty. I need a little dusting. So there we are. Now here's where we can kind of get into a little bit more scale. Uh, this is the Pangu Toys Omega Supreme. And so Voltron's still a bit bigger uh, than he is, but I think where he scales the most with is a commander class and that's with Jetfire. And so let me move you to the side over here. So we can bring Jetfire in. And I have the Shattered Glass version of uh, Jetfire. I finally got the Siege version. I haven't opened it yet, uh, but it will be opened. Trust me, it will. There we are. Stand up, stand up, be proud. Show your spirit out loud. But there you go. You can kind of see them standing side by side. Jet Jetfire is, I mean, from a head to head, Voltron is taller. But Jetfire has these little things, the little cheater. So he's a little bit taller that way. And gosh, you are dusty, Jetfire. Uh, but you kind of see from a size comparison kind of what they look like together on that. And so Voltron, like I said, from a, about like a commander class. I wish I had a Devastator. I have Minasaur, but I have his DNA kit upgrade on there. So that's not kind of fair. Um, maybe MHZ's Tiger Wing, he might kind of uh, scale a little bit too as well. Um, masterpiece. Oh, let me pull a Masterpiece. I didn't, I didn't even think about that. What's wrong with you, Jimmy? Give me just a second. He's in a good place where I can reach him. Uh, but Masterpiece, which this is, um, this is Magic Square's Optimus Prime. So there you go. There they all are lined up in a row. And so let's move you all out of the way so we can play with some weapons. Weapons that Voltron has with his blazing sword and shield. And just kind of show you how those kind of uh, fit inside of the Voltron. Is it the Voltron? <laughs> like the bathroom or the whatever, I don't know. Uh, so first of all, let's get his blazing sword. Cool thing about the sword. Uh, there's a little like peg right here that should go right into the red lion's mouth. Let's see if we can show you here. You can kind of see right there. That's where that will go. And so we will stick that in there and get that kind of just stuck in that. There we go. Oh, that holds great. That holds up great. And then we have the shield, which has the peg as well, which is supposed to peg into the green lion's mouth. And so let's get that in there. There we go. That's in really good. Now we have Voltron with some lions. 
Let's do this. Let's kind of twist him like that, like so. Give him a kind of cool looking little, like little, let me swing this at you. And then we'll move that shield kind of like so, like that. There we are. We'll kind of move that head like so, like that. Boom. I think this is where that stand would have came in handy. Would have just been like awesome to do. And that's the bad thing. Gosh, he's kind of a wobbly mess at times, but at other times, there we go. He's good. Voltron. Let's move back. Defender of the universe against Zarkon and his evil minions and his evil monsters. But yeah, you can kind of see, again, Power Rangers, where they got uh, some of their inspiration from. But overall, I, I'm happy with it. I mean, like the nature of any combiner, it's not going to be the tightest thing in the world. But this does have some loose stuff. And I wonder if it's just because it's used and whoever had it before, like really played with it or what. But uh, it's just it's just got a little wibbly wobbly to it. Um, but he looks cool. That's ultimately what it's about. Now, his light eyes are supposed to light up, but due to uh, probably how old this is, the batteries are probably dead in it. Uh, so I, I, I can't wait to get batteries in it so I can light his eyes up. That would be awesome. Uh, but that is it. That is the Voltron. What do you all think? Is he a defender or is he an offender? Uh, so... All right, well, let's get back together for some of my final thoughts on Voltron. Welcome back, folks. What an exhausting video. I had my dog being crazy, my cats being crazy, everything's being crazy. Uh, so that's why you see multiple cuts, weird things happening. But you know what? That's the nature of, uh, well, living with pets. Uh, but let's bring Voltron back in. There he is. Look at him. He is awesome. He is awesome. I mean, just overall, I mean, he weighs about almost two and a half pounds all together. I mean, just the metal body, the die cast metal in him, the plastic and things like that. I mean, just the overall attention to detail, I think he looks great. That's the pros I have about him. I mean, he just has all the feels of the 80s toy. Like when I had him as a kid, that Matchbox toy and things like that, that uh, that basically I played with and I loved as a kid uh, was great. Then the cons were the same thing that that Matchbox thing. Because of the nature of the metal of it, I mean, you just don't have a lot of like posability because it just doesn't stay in poses. Uh, it's floppy. It's just like a combiner would be. It's a little bit floppy and things like that. Uh, I wish it had the stand. Uh, I know it didn't come with the stand that because I bought them used, but I wish it did. Um, but yeah, the legs don't hold into place because those legs are heavy and uh, the joint just does not support it. Um, but it's Voltron. I mean, you can't beat that. It's it's it, it was my childhood. It was everything to me i loved voltron i mean there were there were three actually four toys that i li really liked later in my childhood the three that were my top three transformers was my my first love uh voltron and star wars were right there and then i had mask and i hope they bring mask back i know there's a third party that makes makes one of the thunderhawk uh which is really really cool uh but that would be cool if man one of these toy companies brings mask back because vehicles that could turn into other vehicles. That was awesome. Uh, but Voltron, again, uh, I never really got into Power Rangers. So that's what I would assume Power Rangers would have been when I was a kid was Voltron. Uh, but uh, for those of y'all that were into Power Rangers, man, thank Voltron for paving the way uh, as well as some other uh other things too as well but uh, on a scale of good bad awesome individual lions i would say are pretty good you know they 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 do their job they're really cool a little finicky to pose uh feels a little wobbly too as well um but um but they're still they're pretty good the individual lions are uh now the combined form i would say he's good to own um, pretty awesome not completely awesome uh good to pretty awesome just because i mean my knocks are just from a posability standpoint it's just a little 
a little wobbly on that. So uh, if you see me moving back and forth, it's me just trying to keep my dog from jumping up and down on me. Um, uh, it's much better. Some of y'all may be, why don't you lock him up? Because he's a basset hound and you would hear him. He would, that's what he would be doing. Uh, so, uh, but like I said, uh, a good to, to pretty awesome on combined mode. I mean, I like his weapons and things like that, but that die cast metal is both a pro and a con. The, from a sturdiness, yes, but a con. From a ratcheting and wobbliness of him, he's a little bit wobbly. Um, I think with the stand, he'd be a little bit more stable where you can pose him in different things, but because I don't have that stand, oh well. Uh, am I gonna keep him? You know, that's, that's still the jury's out on that. I've always wanted a Voltron. I think this is a good one. But some of the knocks for me is it doesn't have the stand. Uh, but, like I said, I only paid... Well, I didn't even pay anything for him because I traded a bunch of stuff. But he was only $250 uh, at, at McKay's when, like I said, seeing him brand new online, uh, f up in the 500 mark and stuff like that. So, w would I keep him? Maybe. Uh, I have seven days to decide if I want to return him to McKay's. Uh, even if I don't return them, I think I could sell them online and maybe make my money back and maybe a little bit more. I think McKay's underpriced them. I think you could probably, even without that stand, I probably could probably could have sold them for about 300 bucks, probably, you know? Uh, but, but I mean, he's pretty good. He's pretty decent. I don't know. I might keep him. Uh, you know, who am I kidding? I probably will keep him. Uh, but uh, overall, pretty awesome. I think he's a pretty awesome bot. I, I love him. If you haven't don't know much about Voltron, I'll put the history of Voltron in there. Uh, and definitely watch the Netflix version of it. I think it's a really well done show uh, and uh, done really, really great uh, and gives some real moral ambiguity too as well um, for a kid's show. Uh, but overall, really cool. I can't wait to review, like I said, I got the other Voltron. And I'll pull that box up here. Can't wait to review this one. This one's gonna be really cool too as well. And I think whoever sold these to McKay sold both of them. Uh, because, uh, and I feel bad on why he had to sell them. I'm sure life happened and life has happened. I've sold toys before because, uh, life has happened. And I, you know, you got to eat, you pay rent, whatever, uh, over having toys. But, um, but yeah, I know this probably brought joy and happiness while he had them. And I know it'll bring joy and happiness to me and maybe joy and happiness, whoever gets them next. Uh, cause that's what toys do, right? They make you happy. Uh, I can get into the nitty gritty and nitpick but it did its job and that job was this is it gave me flashbacks back to when i was a kid playing with voltron having fun with him having voltron versus my transformers that was just the coolest thing so yes it did its job uh can i nitpick on things yes absolutely but did it do its job absolutely uh, and I hope it does that for you all, too, if you decide to pick them up. If you don't, that's okay. Uh, so tune in next time when we share something else that's really cool, which will probably be this another Voltron or maybe another Transformer, because I just got the Shattered Glass Rodimus Prime in. Oh, uh, I can't wait to, to look at that one. Uh, but y'all, man, remember to stay young, have fun, and be awesome. Be a part of the Lion Force. Let's form Voltron together. We'll talk to you later.